Uh, the next one up, uh, he has made something for uh, tons of young Swedes that want to start something. He created Young Entrepreneurs of Sweden together with another guy here. Uh, and he also uh, runs OmniCloud now, which makes um, developers' lives easier. So, Ted from OmniCloud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, can we just start with one of those hugs again? Because I'm the last speaker. Yeah. My mesh hug. Alright, I think the mood is much lighter already. See guys, it's so easy. Um, so this morning I had a good speech that I wrote down that I wanted to give you. Uh, I was going to tell you about three geeks in a garage. Uh, they were doing things that nobody cared about. And then suddenly everybody wanted to become a developer, and uh, we, we became cool. Uh, I was going to tell you that story, and how we are now helping developers uh, to manage their, uh, their projects and their, their hosting. But then I thought about it, and I, I, I was at Skagum, and I met the Crown Princess. And I met the Crown Prince, and I was hanging out with these guys. Uh, and you get a bit grounded when you're with people like this guy. Um, so I thought about, okay, what is the more deeper question here? What's the more interesting question here that people are ask actually asking? Um, and that question was, okay, how do you build one of these companies? How do you become hugely successful and stay sane and happy at the same time? Okay? So how do you make sure that you, when you're working 200 hours per week, have a social life, have a girlfriend, meet your mom and dad, and do all those cool things that people tend to do? Um, and I thought about that, and I thought about, OK, what do I know about this? And I just wanted to share like three things that have been working for me. Uh, just three simple lessons that I've thought about during this day. Um, and whatever they mean to you, you can take them for what it is. Um, the first thing has to do with how we define ourselves with what we do. So when we run something, when we have a company, a startup, there's, you know, we put so much emotion into what we do. And that's really, it's really something we're not aware of until afterwards. I had a good friend of mine uh, at Google, and she... She told me that when she left Google, she was empty because she put so much emotions into what she was doing without knowing it. Um, and I think we just need to be aware of that, that there are people around us. You know, it's this feeling when you get home to your mom and, you know, you're so excited about what you're doing. You're telling her about this new one million round you just raised. And the only question she asks is like, so how are you? And are you full? Do you need more food? And it's, it's kind of weird how, you know, like, we're all in this world and everything is just moving and then, like, the people that actually matter to us, they just, you know, they ask these simple questions and they, that's all they care about. It's, it's like that. Uh, so I think a lesson to learn there is, you know, to understand how much of yourself you put into a project and the fact that it's all going to change. Like, at some point, I'm not going to be the OmniCloud pair. And the question is, which pair am I going to be then? Is there a pair left? I don't know. Um, and my second, my second uh, topic here is, has to do with challenges. So I've seen myself as a person that, you know, I, I take a lot of challenges. But then when I think about it, the challenges that I actually take are the ones that I know I'm going to already win. So I choose a challenge in a field where I'm already strong, and I say, yeah, I'm going to challenge myself to become better at X or Y. And like, that's not really a challenge. You already know you're going to win, and you're confident about what you're doing. So it's like, it's just normal work. I think for me, the challenge is really doing something that you would not normally do. So if you used to wear a jumpsuit in the club, why not wear a suit? If you used to be a bodybuilder, why not dance ballet? Like, you know, take the opposite, see what happens. 
I know a lot of things where, you know, they're far outside my comfort zone because, um, because they're just so different to what I think I am, in a way. Um, so I think that's my second, second point, that it's really interesting how I, I keep, you know, I keep coming back to this in my head where I, I always think, oh, I'm challenging myself and I'm doing so much, but the sometimes you have to just see that, okay, you're just, you're just like already good at this, what you're doing, so you, you could try something else and see what happens. Um, and then my third point is, I think it's something that we already touched today as well, which is, um, it's this, it's, New York is just an island. And what does that mean? Well, it means that there are many islands. There's Oslo, Stockholm, New York, San Francisco, London. They're just islands. And when we talk about making impact, there is, you know, there's a bigger impact we can make that has to do with the world. And then there is an impact which is we're on TechCrunch or we're on Time Magazine. And I would just want to say that, you know, if you really, if you really concerned about making an impact, you should look beyond those places. You should look in places you don't normally look. You should go places you don't normally go. Uh, if you just want to run a business, it's cool. You can, you know, you can be, you can be cool on TechCrunch, and that's fine. Um, I just think it's good to be aware of that. And then, um, as a final thought, I just want to pose uh, one quote and a question to you guys. Uh, not to set the mood to dark. <laughs> uh, it's it's really um, it's really about like I mean I'm saying all these things because I really believe that when we're aware of these things, we're able to unleash our full potential and we're able to really really become big and you know feel relaxed when we work and and all these things that really help us. Um, so there's a quote by. Uh, I think it was Alexander the Great who said, I came to this world with nothing, and I conquered so many things, and still I leave with nothing. So the question to you guys is, if you're going to leave this world with nothing, what will you do right now? Uh, and does that make you happy? Thanks.